Yeah. trigger right away. Tell me what happened. Tell me what you feel different on that one. Well, tell me what you felt that you were missing in the fundamentals. You can't? I'm not sure. Okay, then let's go back. Right, reset yourself. First, when you like that, forget about it because you can't take it back. Every shot is a brand new page. Don't let yourself mentally get tripped up on it, right? Forget about it. Fresh round, fresh page. Go back to the fundamentals, right? Do your job. Let's do it. Reset. Finger off the trigger. Finger off the trigger when you do that. Okay, what happened? There was a round in there. Yeah. Why, why did you do that? Because uh, I pulled the trigger and it didn't shoot. Really? Okay. Okay, go back to, go back to, uh, yep. You're, you've already put in a, another round. Go back and resume. Finger off the trigger. Your habit is you gotta get your finger off the trigger right after you're done. Don't leave your finger off. Okay? Take the magazine out. Visually and physically inspect that the gun is clear. Good. Okay. Bring it in. But listen. That's nice. You had to come here. We're gonna. Right? I want you to analyze when that happens. What is So. A little bit more self-analysis and awareness, right? And this is your warm-up shots. Tell me, do you normally shoot? I never shoot. You've never shot like that before? So good. What's the difference between the shooter you were and the shooter you are now? What's the difference? A big difference. I mean, that's two inches. Yeah. But what, in your mind, what is the difference in what you learned today that's making you a better shooter? Uh, fundamentals in general. Yeah. Um, trigger control. Yes. That's the big one. The big one, right? It all comes down to trigger control. And now that you know that, you can do this all day long. You can do that because that's not random. That's intentional. You did that because you have the technique down. You see the difference now? Yeah. Okay, finger off the trigger. You see? When you got it, you got it. But then when you start to doubt, overthink, and fixate on the recoil, you shoot low. You're, you're, you felt that was your last shot. You see that? When I squeeze the trigger for you, our two shots are right there. Okay? When I squeeze the trigger for you, you, don't, you can't anticipate. You don't know when it's going to go. You shouldn't even care. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, right? And that's what you need to work on. But that's a, still a huge improvement in your shooting. Now you know what the issue is. It all comes down to mental. What you're thinking here that causes you to do your trigger finger, right? Whether you're jerking it or you're flinching, it all starts with what you're thinking. Does that make sense? All right, good job. Okay, not bad. So, 
There was a height. <laughs> You weren't used to shoot. Oh, sorry. That's how you're supposed to shoot. There you go. Look at that. Four, five. You happy with that? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's what you're supposed to. So yeah, it's not yeah, it's not the gun. It's not you. Well, it was oh, you it to, to a certain extent that you're not used to shooting low. But you know what you're supposed to you're supposed to do now. It just pivot your arm to the target's height. Okay. Keep doing it. Good job. Good job. What happened there? The trigger. Huh? I rushed. You felt it, right? You felt the difference? Yeah. Exactly. That's your problem. We did dry fire. As you did dry fire, your first two shots were both sides in the same hole. Rushed. You see the difference? Yeah. There you go. I go back. It's okay. Do you anything differently there? Yeah. Yep. Let the gun do its job. Just... Did you feel that you rushed it again? Take out the trigger. Take the magazine out. Did you feel that you rushed it again? No, not that time. Okay. So, after we did some dry fire, this is your first two shots. You saw that. Right? You saw that happen. Right. And then when you rushed it, you could feel that. And then you had one high. You felt your wrist breaking up. And then you, the last shot was way down here again. So that's what you need to work on. You can see the, the importance of dry fire. When you dry fired, your first shots are right on because you don't really care about the recoil, but then you start to doubt yourself and rush the trigger and mentally think about the recoil. That's gonna take time, but at least now, you know what to work on. Got it? Go home and dry fire it. Okay? But you can see that? Look at that. Look at that. This is a lot better. Yeah. Than showed me yeah. from the last time. Yeah, my groups are like... Yeah. And now exactly. Yeah. You've cut your groups. And that's what you want. You've got to keep doing that till your groups are so small that, you know what? I still flinch, but I've learned to minimize my flinch. If I flinch, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you're already made that much improvement in one class. Amazing.